Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video on uh, basic tools needed for small engine and lawnmower repair. Okay, one of the most important things is a good set of ratchets. This is a quarter inch drive, three eighths drive, and half inch drive. Now on small engine lawnmower repair, you don't use the half inch drive very often, but it is nice to have one on hand. You use the three eighths more than anything. And of course, you will need a good set of sockets for your ratchets. This through here, these are all quarter inch drive. And on the other side, these are all three eighths inch drive. Now I also have a half inch drive set. These are deep well sockets here. This is a spark plug socket here. But the rest of these are deep wells. These are metric up down to 13 to 19 and standard from three eighths up to three quarter. These are good for getting a nut off a bolt where you got a long part of the, the bolt sticking out and you can't get to it with a regular socket. Now the other type of socket, these are called shallow wells. You can see there's quite a bit of difference between there and it's nice to have a set of both of them on hand. Also recommend getting a set of these spark plug sockets. These are extremely handy. The difference between them and regular deep wells is the rubber bushing inside that holds the spark plug so it'll stay in when it's hot that way you don't have to grab hold of the hot spark plug now you'll see there's duplicates on here two five eighths one of them's half inch drive one of them's three eighths drive same for the thirteen sixteenths one's three eighths and one's half inch drive these are a requirement with your ratchets and sockets you always gonna need extensions these are three eighths and that's a quarter inch drive Breaker bars or cheater bars are handy for extremely tight bolts that you can't get loose with the regular ratchet. And a speed bar, that's what I call them, speed drive bar, they're extremely handy for head bolts or any long bolts. You see me use them on crankcase bolts and head bolts a lot. I don't, you don't tighten or loosen bolts with them, but you use them to drive the bolts down to ready to torque. Okay, a set of wrenches is a requirement. You pretty much have to have a set of wrenches to do any repair and also nice to have a knife on hand a feeler gauge or one of them for spark plugs these are some of the handiest things you'll ever use right here ratchet wrenches they're wrenches but they're ratchets and you can reverse them too they're extremely handy you'll use them all the time wire brushes for a drill those are extremely handy rubber mallet I use that all the time that's one of the most important tools right there. For rebuilding engines, you have to have a torque wrench so you get all the bolts torqued to the manufacturer's specs. And of course, just have basic shop tools on hand. Wire brush, offset screwdrivers. You can never have too many screwdrivers, but I recommend one of these six-in-ones where you can you got a straight and everything and you got a nut driver. And you got a small Phillips straight over here. That's extremely handy, which is good too. In case you don't want a whole drawer full of screwdrivers, just get you one of them. And nut drivers. And it's good to have a small screwdriver for adjusting carburetors. A good set of Allen wrenches, vice grips, needle nose, and pliers. Okay, getting to the heavier work on uh, rebuilding engines and reassembling engines. This is some of the stuff you're going to need. Valve lapping tools for reseating valves, piston ring compressor for putting your rings, compressing your rings on your piston so you can drop it in the cylinder, valve spring compressors. This is the type for flathead set like this to pull flywheels. Uh, this one's broke as you seen in the video a while back. I made it broke on me. Need to pick up a new one. And this type of puller is handy for pulling pulleys off and flywheels as well. Here's another real important tool for rebuilding engines, a cylinder hone. This goes from two to seven inch cylinders, I believe. Uh, you need this to put a crosshatch pattern on the cylinder wall. It helps the rings seat and helps lubricate the rings in the engines. If you don't hone a cylinder before rebuilding it, reassembling it, your rings probably ain't gonna seat in. You're just gonna be back to square one burn oil and low compression. Here's another thing I forgot to show, uh, star or torx bit drives, drive bits, 
these are a quarter inch drive and these are 3 eighths drive you'll use these small ones quite a bit on the small engines one more thing I meant to mention earlier uh, on your sockets and wrenches you're not going to use metric very much because most uh, companies that make lawnmowers and engines are in the US and most of your bolts are going to be standard drive but if you work on uh, imported engines or engines made in China or other places you're going to need metric wrenches then now there's also uh, a lot more stuff you're going to need and what I show in this video this covers pretty much the basics now, I didn't show stuff like drill like electric drill and grinders and stuff like that which uh, you're going to need and for working on lawnmowers it was nice to have a welder on hand too now we have a little MIG welder used to weld up decks and stuff with and it works pretty good uh, there's just a lot of little things you need here and there and uh, I don't have everything I need but I just got enough to do uh, basic engine rebuilding and stuff like that I plan to eventually get me a milling machine and lathe so I can start boring out engines and work on uh, more advanced stuff like that I want to get into machining stuff eventually well this concludes uh, this video uh, if y'all got any questions or need some help picking out your tools get get in touch with me and I'll uh, try to help you out thanks for watching guys appreciate it see y'all later on the next video